G'day guys, what's cracking? Today I'm talking to you about the Ulanzi LC150B. It's a studio light, a key light, a, a photography light, a powerful light that at its brightest luminosity is 220 watts. That's right, it's packing a punch. Has a color temperature from 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 6500 Kelvin and that's why it's called a bi light. So it has your cool colors and your warm colors and your daylight colors smack bang in the middle. The CRI rating is over 95, which means the colors are really accurate. The luminosity flux is 20,000, so it's a really bright light and capable of really handling any lighting scenario you might throw at it. So what I'm gonna do is throw it on the stand and we'll see what it can do. Now the light here looks better if it's over there, so we'll just, we'll just put it over there. Now it's over there, it's much better. It looks pretty pretty good, doesn't it? Do you like the look of it? So a couple of limitations. One, it doesn't come with a bag. It would be great if it came with a bag, you could just bung everything in, carry it around and you're done, but it doesn't. So I would assume that you'd use this more as a permanent setup in your studio or around the house. Second, it doesn't have an Aussie plug. Yeah, now I'm an Aussie. No Aussie plug, that's okay. Got an adapter off Amazon, bang it in, no worries. But if you're one of my fellow Australian viewers, g'day, how's it going? hope you will. It won't have an Aussie plug, so you'll need to just adapt with this uh, adapter, which is what adapters do, don't they? Yeah, moving on. The cable is four meters long. Very handy, I really like that. You can always go longer, but the longer you get, the harder it is to stash it and carry it around. Four meters seems like a really valuable thing, especially since you could have your light up to two meters high, so it'll give you two meters to the ground and two meters to your power source. Uh, gives you a bit of flexibility. Um, has a plug that goes in the back of the light, and obviously this that goes in the wall. And when we light it up, it lights up like this. Ah! So bright, so bright, okay. Let me just turn this around. That is currently at 11%. Yeah. So uh, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put it on the far side of my studio. I'm gonna put it two meters away from my face. I'm gonna kill all the other lights and we'll see how bright it is to start off with, right? At 100%, here we go. Ah, it's so bright. It's two meters away from my face. I realize I'm just blown out. Um, it's on 5,500 Kelvin at 100%. Has no diffusing on, although it does have a Bowens mount, so you can put easily a light box on, which will enable the light to be softened greatly and you'd have far more control. It also comes with one of these, which you connect to the Bowens mount and uh, use to your needs. What is this called? Can you tell me down below what the proper name for this is? I'd be keen to know. Now, the other thing it has is really cool. Watch this, a remote control. Look, that's the remote control. And if I turn the remote control on, I'm gonna see if I can just cool the light down. I think that's changed already, hasn't it? All right, I need to, um, let me change, let me make it warmer. And it's also bright, right? So I'm gonna bring the brightness down and I'm gonna do that by taking it down to that's 24%, and I feel like I'm watching the sunset in Fiji, yeah? Nice. Um, so I can go bluer if I like, if I wanna turn it chilly and move to Norway. I can also change my channels and change my groupings, so you can have different lights on different channels and different groupings. Plus, I can turn the fan off. Now, the fan is on full power at the moment, but I can turn it off and it goes silent, but when it goes silent, it drops to 15%. So you can have no fan at all, but it only emits 15% of power. But this is 15% of power as it is two meters away. And the fan itself, it's very quiet. It's much quieter than my Godox SL60W, which is my standard light in my studio. And since using this, I'm pondering actually swapping them out and selling the Godox because this light is really fantastic. It weighs 1.8 kilos, so you're lugging it around. It's not a lightweight kind of, uh, you would carry it anywhere. Uh, but let me show you some of the controls on the back so you can familiarize yourself with it. If you've got any questions as we go through, please put them in the comments below. Um, I'd love you to subscribe and like, as always. And let's check out the light in more detail. So here is the 1.8 kilo LC150B from Ulanzi. Uh, has a carry handle just here and the plug and on switch are underneath. The on switch is orange, close orange, so you know when it's on. You also know when it's on because of this light, but you can actually turn it off, I think, with the remote control, but the light stays on so you know the actual unit's on, so you don't walk out, but you can turn it on and off and on 
and off. Listen, screams a bit when it's off, but the power's on. And we'll just see if that, you hear that through the mic? Yeah. Now, here's the interesting thing. At the moment, the fan is on. I'm gonna put it as close as I can to the microphone. The fan is on, and I'm gonna turn the fan off and we'll see if we notice any difference. Ready? It's so quiet. My other light at the moment is like, and I can't hear this. It's so quiet. Uh, which is just a win for a studio light that you might use um, in your studio when you're trying to record if you have sensitive microphone issues. Sorry about the light. I keep forgetting it's on. I look up and I'm like, oh, blinding you folks. All right, let me just familiarize you with the controls. You turn it on just here. It lights up like so. On the right-hand side, you can change the intensity. You can only get to a max of 15 when the fan is off. When you put the fan on, the fan icon comes up here, and then you can increase it to whatever you like. When you turn the fan off, it goes back to 15. When you turn the fan on, it resumes the intensity setting you had. On the left-hand side, you can change your CCT by going down to something much, much warmer, which allows you to go down to 2,700 and if you go all the way up to something cooler you can go all the way up to 6500 you can select your channel and your groupings which are represented here and here based on other lights you might use in the configuration and then you can change your mode mode button allows you to enter the special effects and you control your which special effects by changing the dial on the left hand side and as you can see there's 11 there to choose from of your own desire and you can change the intensity the brightness of each of them as you go through and to change back you simply go mode and you're back to cct and away we go now just a little word of warning don't put your light on the bench i burn a hole in my bench <gasps> wow i mean it was a dumb thing to do i'll give you that like just having the light on the bench i didn't know how else to show you the structures i guess i could have put it on a stand but yikes so just be careful, don't put the light on the bench, but the light still works wonderfully well. The bracket that the light sits on has the opportunity to sway one way or the other and can be locked in with this ratchet arm here, which locks it in with some teeth so it will never move. And obviously you can put this at any angle you like just remember that you have the cable here. So you perhaps just need to unplug the cable and put it on the other side of the bracket if you wanted to shoot right down on something. And in terms of the Bowens mount, it's dead easy. You put it into the three teeth that are there, you turn it and it locks it in. There's a little button here. You just press that button and it pops out. Other than giving me a hard time for setting fire to my studio by burning a hole in the bench, <laughs> you should show others these videos just to watch that. And there's that many dumb things that happen on these videos. Anyway, other than that, if you've got any questions, please shoot them through. Thank you, Ulanzi, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. And I'm actually going to sub this out with my other light. And I might sell the other light because it's so much easier. And it comes with a remote control. So, boom. It costs this much, which I think is extremely competitive in this day and age. And with that, you get this, you get this, and you get to choose what plug you want. And away you go. For some of you, this will be a wonderful addition to your studio set up or if you want to do some special lighting with either a subject um, you can actually use this in the daylight and it will actually make a difference you will be able to do highlights and those sort of things you can use it at night or with product photography or a whole host of other things that I'm sure you know about already because you're a creative person you're like oh I could use it for this so if you've got a great idea put it in the comments below otherwise like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thanks everybody bye